Previously on J Rock Plays Mega Man 2. Yeah. Now back to your regularly scheduled gameplay. Here. Item two. Item one. All my stuff full except for Metal Blade. I should be able to find some energy. This game is pretty forgiving. One of them trap little platforms there, you fall right through it. Oh no! Bummer, dude. I know what to do. There we go. Just to be safe. I don't need that energy tank, so... No thank you, Temptation. Switching items while you're on a ladder is going to make you fall. Now you know, and knowing is half the battle. Oh, I'm so paranoid of falling. Take that, you stupid bastard. And your brother, too. Use my metal blade on all you suckers. You mess with the wrong guy. <sighs> Forgot about these parts. This is also my least favorite part of the game. So how many lives have I used? I'm on my third life here. Still have the game over, so that's good at least. Wah. Sorry, I'm so quiet. I don't know, maybe you like that. Maybe you like a lot of weird things, don't you? Sick little freak. Got no time for that platform. Yeah. Yeah. This is a tricky boss. 
Yo, you switch between a lot of your platforms. You gotta use your crash bomber. Tactfully. Not to get hit here. Very difficult. This is going to be one of those points where I use my energy. Use item three. And item one. Get up here. And you just gotta run all the way over here. See, you only have enough crash bombs to do that. So you have to leave those three walls. Very important. How are you supposed to know that your first playthrough? You're fucked. And that the crash bomb is the only item that will kill that boss. This is one of my favorite stages, because you get to fight every boss, all in a row. So use all your skills that you've learned throughout the game. You can use the items if you want, I'm still just going to use the P-Buster. Each boss will drop some energy for you, so it's not too bad. So isn't that nice that they dropped that? I'm just going to go in no specific order, just left to right, down around. I don't, I don't always remember who's next, who's in what platform, I don't remember that. Woodman! get all the way to the right, the leaves don't hit you that are coming down. Little tip. Let Woodman come out to you and then go over to the right. Hey, Bubble Man! Oh, just spam them. Full health. Decent. I'm going to be sneaky. I'm going to use some, uh, some time stopper. And you'll see it'll take down half of his life. <laughs> sneaky. Then you don't even have to be so careful. Oh, that's a rip-off. I didn't get my my health there. Crash man. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Being too impatient. Just be back and forth. Baby steps. Back and forth. Be back and forth. Jump, shoot. Back and forth. Jump, shoot. <sighs> Still have some low life. Still a low life. Metal Man, we meet again. what you have to do. Oh. Oh. Hurt my neck. Fuck. 
Splash Man. What is it that you do exactly? All right. Now it's time for what appears to be the final boss. But no, it's never the final boss in these games. You know it's not. I am going to use my Metal Blade. And this is the fight where you have to use up the energy tanks. This is what you're saving the energy tanks for. This might get a little tricky. It's hard to avoid a lot of the stuff being thrown at you here. Use one of them. Yeah! And then Mega Man just falls. I just noticed that now. I didn't notice that before. Now it's the last level, okay? This is really the last level this time, guys. I promise. So this part's really not that hard, it's just pretty much telling me, easy there, Tiger, you don't want to go too fast, do you? If you run too fast, you might fall and hurt yourself. Okay, now the only item that's going to work here is the Bubble Man's Bubble Lead? Bubble Lead? Yeah. Bubbles. Dr. Wily's an alien? No freaking way! He just walks, just goes back and forth in a pattern. Very easy to avoid being hit. Every two seconds to like fire a shot. One, two, dude, dude. One, two, fire. One, two, fire. One, two, fire. I have to hit him one more time, I think. Yeah! Game completed. And now we have to watch the ending here. Mega Man's sort of invisible almost. Half invisible. And this is why the boss was really in a pattern, because it was a robot. Who would have thought? It was another one of Wily's robotic schemes. He's begging for mercy yet again. Yeah, well, Mega Man 2, man. What can I say? It's my favorite, one of my favorite platformer games ever. I always play it. And, like, every month I think I play it, I would say. And uh, big fan of the whole series. Great series to have in your collection. And, you know, thanks for watching my Let's Play video. I've been making them now for a little bit, for a month or so, and I really started out on my YouTube doing tutorial videos, like how to fix your Game Boy, let's say, or how to clean your cartridges and stuff, and it sort of, sort of blossomed. It blossomed into doing these Let's Play videos and learning how to do everything. It's been a real blast, and uh, that's why I'm using the opportunity to play one of my favorite games. You know, I look, I look forward to doing many different platformers and on very, uh, various, various systems, you know, from Nintendo all the way to, like, Xbox 360. Everything in between as well, everything I own. I own 10 systems. I own NES, Super Nintendo, Genesis, N64, GameCube, Dreamcast, PS1, PS2, Xbox 360, and Wii, Game Boy, and Game Boy DS, and PC. That's everything I own, and I hope to do, I, I game on all of them, and I hope to do videos on all of them. So, thanks for watching, this has been J-Rock, click like and subscribe, share with this video if you liked it, and keep on rocking them games.